Alright, thanks for watching. And today I want to use a, I want to calculate an integral where something unbelievable happens. It's one of the things that never works, but for this integral it works. Namely, let's calculate the integral of square root of e to the 2x plus 1. Okay. Now, the thing that's sort of awesome, I want to use a substitution, and as I said, never works, but it works here. Namely, how about we just substitute the whole function? Why not? So let u be square root of e to the 2x plus 1. And substitute all the things. Let's see what happens. So du becomes, you differentiate the square root with the chain loop, 1 over 2 square root of e to the 2x plus 1, but you also have to differentiate the e to the 2x, so 2e to the 2x dx, and we get e to the 2x over square root of e to the 2x plus 1 dx. You know, it depends on x. Ideally, we want something with u's because, you know, never mix x's and u's. Um, but it turns out you can easily rewrite this because notice the denominator has a square root e to the 2x plus 1, which is u. And then the question is, what is e to the 2x? Well, square this out. u squared is e to the 2x plus 1. So e to the 2x is u squared minus 1. So du is u squared minus 1 over u dx, and so dx becomes u over u squared minus 1 du. And so what is the integral? Is integral of square root of e to the 2x plus 1 dx. It just becomes integral of u, and then dx is u over u squared minus 1 du, and that becomes u squared over u squared minus 1 du. Question, how do you handle this then? Uh, you could use long division, or notice there's a nice simplification. Just add and subtract 1 on both sides. minus 1 du. Again, just cancel out the 1s and you're left with u squared over u squared minus 1. And you're left with not, so, not too bad of an integral. So this becomes integral of 1 plus 1 over u squared minus 1. You can write it as u minus 1 times u plus 1 du. And this is just a a uh, very standard partial fraction decomposition. So you want to write as something over u minus 1 plus something else over u plus 1. So a plus b. All right, just put it on the common denominator, like 5, um, let's see, uh, and then match the coefficients, but just to save some time, let me tell you what the answer is. So basically what happens, um, u plus 1, sorry, what happens is, well, we need a 1 half here, because we get a 1 half of u plus 1, and we need to cancel it, so we get a minus 1 half, so let me just illustrate this. So what we get, if you put it all together, is 1 half of u plus 1 minus 1 half of u minus 1 over u plus 1 times u minus 1. And so we get 1 half u minus 1 half u, which cancels out, and then 1 half plus 1 half, which gives you 1. So this whole gigantic thing is just 1. Great! Which means what is the integral? It's integral of 1 plus 1 half over u minus 1 minus 1 half over u plus 1 du. And then now you can just um, integrate this. So this is not too bad.
and you're left with a U plus one half ln of U minus one in absolute value minus one half of ln of U plus one plus the constant. Don't forget about this. And you can simplify this. So U plus one half ln of U minus one over U plus one plus a constant, and even better, right, as u plus ln of square root of u minus one over u plus one, again, absolute value, plus a constant, and let's just remember what u was, u was the whole thing, the whole shabam, and we're left with square root of e to the two x plus one plus ln of, I guess, square root of absolute value of square root of e to the x, 2x uh, plus 1 minus 1 over square root of e to the 2x plus 1 plus 1 and then plus a constant and let's see can we remove the absolute value indeed we can because this is positive so this whole thing is greater than 1 so this minus 1 is still positive in fact, we can even remove this. Yep, and that's it. I guess you can simplify it further by multiplying by the conjugate exponent or something. In fact, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's do that because I have time to kill anyway. Uh, I think it becomes even nicer then. So that's square root of e to the 2x. Uh, plus 1 plus ln of square root of, let's see, so e to the uh, 2x plus 1 minus 1 squared, and then you get square root of e to the 2x plus 1 plus 1, square root of e to the 2x plus 1 minus 1, plus a constant, and then it becomes square root of e to the 2x plus 1 plus ln of, so um, the square root here on the top disappears because we have a square root of a square, so we just have a ln of square root e to the 2x plus 1 minus 1, and then this thing just becomes e to the 2x plus 1 minus 1, oh, pretty, plus a constant, because it's you know, a plus b times a minus b, which is a squared minus b squared, and then also square root. But then square root of that just becomes e to the x. So I guess even nicer, how nice. Uh, maybe there's an e faster way of doing this. Oh, no, it's, it's 6 p.m. now, so I'm ra running out of speed. So squared e to the 2x plus 1 plus our ln degenerates. So square root of e to the 2x plus 1 minus 1. Square root of e to the 2x is just x. Sorry, is e to the x. Well, I was thinking ln. So in fact, let's do ln of a minus ln of b. So, probably inefficient because I put them together and now I'm separating them. Plus ln of square root of e to the 2x plus 1 minus 1 minus x plus a constant. How neat is that? And if I made a mistake, probably at the simplification process, but maybe that's correct. Uh, all right, so if you like this integral and you want to see more calculus fun, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.